All right, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I'd like to add a glitch effect to. Let's begin by making sure your video clip is selected on the timeline, and then move the playhead to where you want your glitch effect to start. Click the scissors to split your video at that position. Then move the playhead to where you want your glitch effect to end. Once more, click the scissors to split the clip at your position. Okay, now that we have a clip to add our effect to, make sure it's the only one selected on your timeline, and then go over to the Filters tab. From the list on the side, select Noise. Alright, there's a few different glitch filters in here, one of my favorites is a broken lens effect. To add it, just drag it onto your selected clip on the timeline. And now when I play this back, I have a great looking glitch effect. This might be the glitch for you, but I'll undo this to show you a few other cool ones. Dragging the distortion effect onto your clip will give you a glitchy VHS type look. I also like the static one which gives your video glitchy artifacts. If you really want to go crazy, you can combine a couple of the glitch filters to give your video even more distortion. Lastly, if you click this little star in the corner of your clip, you can even change the amount of glitch for each filter. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to check out the link in the description for an exclusive discount on Movavi Video Editor Plus. Thanks for watching and see you next time.